What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight's video is the second in an installment of videos where I cover some of the most important things I think you should do after installing elementary OS Luna. Now the information you'll find in this video doesn't necessarily pertain just to elementary. In fact, if you're running Ubuntu or any Ubuntu derivative distro, this information applies to you. So we'll be covering proprietary graphics drivers. In the last video, we talked about how to generate an xorg.comp file for your open source drivers to improve performance. And tonight, I'm gonna to show you how I like to install the proprietary driver, in this case, NVIDIA. Now, again, why would you wanna do this? Well, the proprietary driver, at least on the NVIDIA side, and in some circumstances as well on the ATI side, leaps and bounds better performance. Now, with the ATI driver, the open source driver, I believe, actually outperforms the proprietary in, in uh, 2D. However, 3D, the proprietary driver, does outperform the open source version. NVIDIA, I found the NVIDIA driver leaps and bounds is better than the Novu driver. Now, when I say that, I don't want to take anything away from the work that's being done on these open source drivers. The developers, in many cases, are having to reverse engineer and they're putting a ton of work into these open source drivers and what they've been able to do is very impressive um, given the resources that they have so i don't want to sound ungrateful for that work i'm you know and, and for most people the open source driver is going to be just fine you know for those of us that have you know maybe a little bit higher end um, hardware we want to really push it to its limits and take advantage or you're into things like maybe gaming or you know uh, graph very intense graphics work um, you're going to want that to really get the most out of that hardware and you're going to do that generally with the proprietary driver okay now for instance i was playing some team fortress 2 earlier today or just doing some tests and the novu driver could barely play the game on medium settings whereas uh, the proprietary driver that i have installed here i could ratchet everything up to the highest settings and the game played flawlessly so you know again the open source driver may uh, meet the needs of most people um, but there's going to be some of us that are going to want to get the most out of our hardware and as of right now we're going to do that using the proprietary driver so i have my system installed elementary os luna the beta 2 just the way i like it everything everything is configured the way i like it i have all my applications that i normally use installed and for whatever reason when I get my system exactly the way that I like it, something inside me says I need to break something because I can't be okay unless I'm fiddling around with something. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are like that, but for whatever reason, um, that's the way that I get. So I decided in preparation for this video, I was going to try to install the proprietary graphics driver. Now I jumped over to NVIDIA's website and I noticed that just a few days ago, they released an update to the NVIDIA driver. 3.19.23. Now, in Ubuntu, you can install the proprietary driver a number of ways. You can come right to NVIDIA's website, download the driver, and install it. Now, the drawback to this being every time the kernel updates, you're probably going to have to recompile this particular driver. Um, so that's kind of a drawback. Now, if you're using elementary or Ubuntu, you have the additional drivers tool. Now, the drawback to using this particular tool is because this is Ubuntu 12.04, it's not going to have the latest bleeding edge drivers in the repository. So you're not going to get the latest and greatest. And in my case, the previous driver to this one, which wasn't that old, gave me issues screencasting. Okay, so if I was relying on the drivers that I would find in the 12.04 repos, it wouldn't work for me. I This particular driver is uh, working much better with screencasting. And you know the method I'm about to show you allowed me to install it even in an older distribution like 1204. So the way in which I suggest updating your NVIDIA drivers or installing them is using the Xorg Edgers PPA. Now this particular PPA uh, aims to basically give you the latest, most stable version of Xorg as well as the proprietary video drivers. Now, if you're using ATI, you've got the FGLRX driver, and of course, you have the NVIDIA driver as well. Now, when, you, when we check the version that was just released, we see it's 3.19.23. 
and we jump over here to the Xorg Edgers PPA and we see that it's also 3.19.23. So this is the most current version. Now, the way that you would actually utilize this PPA is adding it just like any other PPA. So if you're unsure on how to do that, all you have to do is open up a terminal. You're going to type in sudo add uh, dash apt dash repository and then the name of the repository you would like to add. You're going to hit enter. It's going to ask you to confirm that you want to actually enter this repository by hitting enter again. You'll do that. After that, you'll just do a sudo apt get update. This is going to update your sources list. I would also suggest doing a sudo apt get dist upgrade. <laughs> There's an update for the elementary icon theme. We'll go ahead and install that. Um, but that's also going to make sure that your Xorg um, is updated as well. Now, if you want to install the NVIDIA driver, you can do so right here in a terminal, which is generally the way that I do it. Or I can show you the graphical way. So if you want to do it in a terminal, take note of the version that you want to install. In this case, it'd be the NVIDIA 3.19 driver. So you would install it by typing sudo apt get install NVIDIA-319. Hit enter. Now, I already have this installed, and it's already at its newest version. Also, when you... Um, type this command in, it's going to pull in some of the other dependencies like NVIDIA settings and so on. Now if you wanted to use something graphical, you can always use Synaptic. Now when you open up Synaptic, you're going to come to the not installed section, type in NVIDIA. Now I have the 319 driver installed already, so if we come to the installed section, you're going to see that NVIDIA 319 and NVIDIA settings 319, uh, in fact it's 319.23, the latest version, is installed. However, it would populate for you under the not installed section. All you're going to do is simply select NVIDIA 319, right click, and you're going to select mark for installation. And then you're just going to click apply. After you do that, it's going to automatically um, take that pre-built package, install it in your system. When you reboot, uh, you'll be using the new NVIDIA driver, and it's that simple. Um, when you install the proprietary driver, it'll also install NVIDIA uh, settings, so you can come in and tweak the settings to your liking as well. That is the best way that I think that you um, should install the NVIDIA driver. Anytime your kernel updates, it's, it's going to also um, uh, recompile the module for you automatically. Um, so it's a real nice way to install and, and, and keep up to date with the latest and greatest NVIDIA drivers if you're running elementary OS Luna or Ubuntu. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, what do you think of this wallpaper? Um, I just put this wallpaper together. I think it's pretty nice. Um, I've been dabbling around with uh, GIMP and really, um, you know, kind of playing around with, with the program and all the things that it can do. And I put this simple kind of clean wallpaper together. I'll put a link to it in the video description uh, below if you like it. But anyway, guys, as always, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later.